हेलो एंड वेलकम फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर ऑन डॉज रोमिक सिस्टम फॉर एक्सेप्टेंस सैम्पलिंग अंडर द मॉड्यूल ऑफ क्वालिटी इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट सो एजेंडा फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर इज वॉट आर द एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम अ गुड सैम्पलिंग प्लान देन वॉट इज द हिस्ट्री एंड बैकग्राउंड ऑफ डॉज रोमिक सिस्टम कंसेप्ट ऑफ टोटल इंस्पेक्शन then we will see about dodge romic tables that is ltpd table and aoql tables then pros and cons of dodge romic tables and finally we will see one example case for dodge romic system so what are the expectations from a good sampling plan so as we know sampling plan is decided mutually by the seller and consumer that is producer and consumer and it is finalized before inspection so deciding a sampling plan involves the lot size sample size and acceptance number so what is a good sampling plan so it is index that is aql average quality level and average outgoing quality level which reflects the need of consumer and producer a good sampling plan should also provide adequate protection to producer and consumer both it cannot be a one sided game a good sampling plan should have minimum total inspection cost as we know inspection involves some cost then flexibility for reflecting the changes in lot size product quality and measurement should be precise and provide the proper measure of quality so these are some of the expectations we have from a good sampling plan so this all are the efforts to design and decide a good sampling plan for the products now coming to history and background of dodge romic system it originated in bell telephone laboratories and these are the tables which are used for acceptance sampling at bell telephone system so sir h f dodge and h g romic published a volume of dodge romic tables for attribute sampling in the year 1944 on the right you can see it is the plan for consumer protection so dodge romic is the plan which is basically intended for maximum consumer protection so it is the combination of sampling inspection of lots and 100% inspection of rejected lots so let me be very clear about this there are number of lots each lot contains some number of pieces so we are doing the sampling inspection of lot that is we can take a random sample or systematic sample or cluster sample then if some lot get rejected the 100% inspection of that rejected lot which means all the pieces in the rejected lot are inspected 100% that is one by one every piece is inspected then these dodge romic plans are designed with an aim to minimize the total inspection so as i said even if we are doing the sampling there is a concept of total inspection and our objective is to minimize this total inspection dodge romic plans applies where sampling inspection is done by the purchaser and 100% inspection of rejected lot is done by the supplier as i earlier said then we will try to understand about the concept of total inspection so as we know there are three things in a sampling plan one is capital n which is a lot size then small n which is a sample size and c which is acceptance number so for smaller acceptance number the total inspection is high as many lot needs 100% inspection because if you will keep the acceptance number small more lots will be rejected and 
as per the policy we have to do the 100% inspection of rejected lots now second scenario if i choose the larger acceptance number then again the total inspection will be high because the sample size will be high if i select a larger c my small n will be larger so again the inspection will be high so the concept of minimum total inspection that is mti is somewhere a golden center between these two extremes so dodge romic table ensures this minimum total inspection at their proposed plan now we can see here ltpd that is lot tolerance percent defective we know what is ltpd so it is the quality beyond which the customer is not ready to accept the lot then consumers risk it is 10% then we will get combination of small and nc that is sampling plan so our minimum total inspection will lie at some intermediate point between the two extremes that is for smaller acceptance number the inspection will be high for larger acceptance number the inspection will be high but somewhere in the middle we will get a point of minimum total inspection then coming to dodge romic tables i would like to show you a glimpse of this table so these are dodge romic tables the link of this table is attached in description of this video so there are four tables you can see table 1 2 3 4 these are the table for lot tolerance percent defective so two of these are for single sampling plan two of these are for double sampling plan and we have another four table that is 5 6 7 8 which are aoql table which deals with the average outgoing quality limit again two are for single two are for double and we have all the tables here okay now coming back so there are four sets of table so single sampling ltpd tables double sampling ltpd tables then single sampling aoql tables double sampling aoql tables now these are the tables proposed by dodge romig for selecting a selecting an appropriate sampling plan for consumer as well as producer but we always know these are the plants which intend maximum consumer protection that i will explain so ltt ltpd tables are based on lot tolerance percent defective at constant consumer risk of 10% we have already understood about the consumer risk at the time of operation characteristic what is consumer risk so it is the 10% risk of the consumer that the bad lots may get accepted as there is no 100% inspection so ltpd table ensures that individual lots of poor quality will be rejected and it will provide more consumer protection which is the basic aim of dodge romic system now ltpd tables so it emphasizes constant low consumer risk with varying aoqls so if we are keeping the consumer risk constant as well as ltpd at some particular level our average outgoing quality will vary so this will ensure seldom acceptance of lots of poor material which means that there will be more protection to the consumer there are very less chances that a poor lot will be accepted so how to read this table and how to get an appropriate sampling plan so we have ltpd values like 0.5 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10% so for example if ltpd we choose 5% beta is the consumer risk that is 10% and process average which is known to producer that what is the process average at their particular production cycle so by these three values we can select the single and double sampling plan from the table so just to give you a glimpse we will select 
process average 0 0.51 to 1.0 and we will choose the sampling plan from the table of consumer risk 10% and LTPD 5% so we will go to the table so we can see here these are the LTPD tables and as we know LTPD is 5% so we have to see table 3 for single sampling plan so we will go to table 3 now you can see this is table 3 as you can see LTPD 5% consumer risk 10% what is the process average so it was 0 0.51 to 1 so at the third column now here is the lot size so whatever is the lot size given let's say the lot size is 101 to 200 so for lot size 101 to 200 you can see the sampling plan here so it is giving me small n is equal to 40 c is equal to 0 and aoql 0 0.74 so this is the sampling plan which I get from Dodge Romic table for this process average and it will provide me the average outgoing quality level of 74%. Similarly for double sampling plan we will go to the table of double sampling plan LTPD 5% consumer is 10% and this is the process average again. So for the lot of 101 to 200 we can see here the plan that is 49 0 26 and 1 so this is 49 0 26 and 1 as we know in the double sampling plan at trial number 2 the sample size is cumulative that is n1 plus n2 so it is the two stage sampling basically first we select 49 samples the acceptance number is 0 now if this condition gets satisfied that's all if it doesn't then we will take the second sample of 26 and cumulatively for 75 pieces my new acceptance number will be 1 so in this way I can get the appropriate sampling plan from Dodge Romic table specifically these are the LTPD tables now second tables are AOQL tables where the AOQL is the prime requirement. So here we select the plan as per the AOQL values as shown here that is 0 0.1, 0 0.25 up to 10%. So for a particular process average we get a plan from AOQL table. Again we will see what is our example process average that is 1.61 to 2.0 so in this case we will go to the table which tables the second set of table which are AOQL tables so let's say for a particular process average if I go for AOQL of 2% there are two options AOQL 2% and AOQL 3% so for AOQL 2% I will go to table 5 yes here is table 5 AOQL 2% my process average is 1.61 to 2.0 and my lot size is 101 to 200 so I get a plan as 35 1 ok so 35 1 is my plan and here I get LQL ok that is LTPD that is 10.5 percent similarly we get the double sampling plan from table 6 so here the process average is 0 0.81 to 1.2 so this is the column and we get a plan like 27 0 28 55 so this is the double sampling plan for AOQL of 2 percent now what are the pros and cons of Dodge Romic tables? So talking about the pros, talking about the benefit, as I said, these plans are intended for maximum consumer protection, which is the direct indicator of organization's 
reputation so dodge roaming systems are easily acceptable by both of the parties due to vested interest and some of the cons are these plans are not very much suitable for small lot sizes then lots of 50 or 100 brings substantial saving in inspection for a given quality protection so we have to make the lots of 50 or 100 because it will provide us the substantial saving there are some practical objections for larger lots that is more than 10000 up to 1 lakh so for such large lots these plans are not very much acceptable there is higher cost of sampling as we know for the rejected lots we have to go for 100% inspection then it is harder to get a random sample yes these are some of the difficulties which you may face if you go with dodge roaming system and sometimes it puts the adverse effect on producer consumer relation due to under protection or over protection issues as i said these plans are intended for maximum consumer protection so it may harm the interest of producer at some instances so these are some of the pros and cons based on which you can decide whether you have to adopt the dodge roaming system for acceptance sampling we'll take the example case which is adapted from the book of mahajan so we have to derive the single and double sampling plan for lot size of 1500 and ltpd 5% with consumer risk of 0.10 if the process average is estimated as 0.6% defective so we have to refer the dodge roaming tables for single sampling plan ltpd 5% so this is table 3 so we will go to table 3 you can see here yes this is the table 3 with ltpd 5% consumer risk 0.10 what is the process average so it is 0.6% defective and lot size is 1500 so we will see 0.6% it comes here it is between 0.51 to 1 and lot size is 1500 so we will get it at 1001 to 200 2000 in this case we will get the sampling plan as 133 with aoql of 1.4% so this is our selected sampling plan from dodge romic tables 130 and 3 similarly double sampling plan for the same process average we will get from table 4 so again the third column as the process average is 0.6 and 1500 which is between 1001 to 2000 so we get a sampling plan as yes 550124 so we get this double sampling plan so in this way you can select an appropriate sampling plan from dodge romic tables which will provide you maximum consumer protection so that's all from my side thank you so much